Hi, I'm Allie Reynolds with Allie's Organics and I'm going to show you how to plant sweet corn. Um, I do like to do, do them in a raised bed because that's how I do all of my um, vegetable growing is in raised beds. And this p particular variety of sweet corn is hooker sweet corn and it's kind of colorful and fun. The first thing that I like to do is prepare the bed. Um, we want to put compost into it and because corn is a high nitrogen feeding, I also sprinkled in some blood meal into the into the soil. It's about five pounds per hundred square foot. You work that into the soil and then you're ready for planting once it's all tilled up and ready to go. You want to have at least 10 foot um, so that it has enough room to pollinate and I like to plant two beds side by side for better pollination also. So 10 foot long, two beds and you're going to get ample pollination. So I'll take two seeds and I'll stick them in one pretty close to the edge over here about in about eight inches and then same thing on this side over here two and I just push them in about an inch. Then I come kind of up on an angle here, right where the little goosey is. Push two more seeds in there. So I'm just creating a grid pattern here. Just using up space and I'm going to go straight across to the other side. Go straight across. And so basically like it's a dice of five and I'm going to continue to go. So one in the center, two on the outside. And I'll go to continue finishing up this row and then I'll finish up the other row. Fill in those holes if you've left some holes. Watered in really well. If you live in a hot, dry area, it's going to require more water than if you live in a humid area. I like to feed the corn blood meal every two weeks because it's a heavy feeder. The, the blood meal is a great way to get that corn growing and it loves that nitrogen, feeds really well off of it. You'll see this sprout in about three days in a warm area. In our area, I actually like to plant on the 24th of July um, for a later crop because if you go later in the season then you don't get near as many bugs. But make sure that you've got enough time for if it's 90 day corn then it's going to take you three months. So you want to make sure that you count for your first frost date uh, and count backwards to make sure that you've got enough uh, time. It always says right here the germination, how many um, days for germination. So you add that plus the days to maturity. So once, once it's up, you can count your maturity days. This one's 90 days, so this will be ready to eat in three months. Now, I hope this helps you with your sweet corn growing.